Hey guys. Welcome, welcome to the Tesla shareholder meeting. <laughs> and I, I just want to start off by saying, hot damn, I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. I, we have the most awesome shareholder base. I mean, it's just incredible. Any public company, it's incredible. Wow. Um, so, and uh, you know, we've, we've got a, a great uh, sort of shareholder meeting here uh, to recap the achievements of the, the company and, and, and tell you about where we're going. And it's, uh, I think it's incredible. I think we're uh, not just opening a new chapter for Tesla, we're, we're starting a new book. Okay. I think just based on vehicle autonomy, we can, we can 10x, more than 10x the value of the company. Um, I believe that's what will happen. Hey, I know it's just, what, what, what do you know, it's, it's, it's 4.20 p.m. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> and congrats to the Tesla team on making six million vehicles all time. So. So, that, I mean, the Tesla fleet is really becoming very substantial. I mean, it's going to be 7 million vehicles by the end of this year, over 7 million vehicles. So, um, uh, we have, and our, our factory in Fremont is currently the highest volume uh, auto, auto factory in North America. So, and, and we broke the prior production record from when it was NUMI. Um, so it's, uh, it's actually pretty wild that there's a, we have a giant car factory in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's not exactly the cheapest place to have a car factory. Um, it's like that in the Swiss Alps or something, you know. Um, uh, but but we, we still managed to make uh, you know, great cars at high volume, and that's a testament to the, the great team we've got in Fremont. Uh, so congrats to the Fremont team. It, it actually gets way crazier uh, when you think about the, our, the Optimus uh, robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to, um, you know, be able to do anything you want it to do, to be, uh, you know, it's, uh, your, you know, your companion. It, it can be at your house. It can sort of uh, babysit your kids. It could teach them. Uh, be a teacher. Um, it, it, you know, it can do factory stuff. Like, I, I think that the ultimate ratio of, you say, how many super useful humanoid helper droids do you want? Like, who doesn't want a C-3PO, you know? Um, uh, you know, but a C-3PO plus R2-D2 plus, you know, plus plus. Um, it would be pretty awesome. Uh, I, think, I think everyone in the world is going to want one. I think we could make one for a cost of maybe, at, at, at really high scale of about $10,000. It's, it's, it's smaller, it's, it'll be less expensive than a car. So, uh, and, and I think if you sold it for, sell for $20,000 or something, this is at large scale volume, um, Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. So, yeah. So it's, it's pretty wild to just, you know, be in Palo Alto with a bunch of cubes and then a humanoid robot just walk, walks past. <laughs> um, we've made a, a massive amount of progress with Optimus in a short period of time, from someone pretending to be a robot dancing in a suit, uh, to a pretty hodgepodge robot, to a robot that is actually doing useful tasks in the factory today. Um, so we have two Optimus robots in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is taking cells uh, off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. And um, yeah, we, we actually have quite a few of these cruising around our offices in, in Palo Alto. Uh, so there's, and, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. Uh, before, and, and then we'll move into a limited production next year of Optimus. L limited production for use in our factories where we'll test out the product, kind of, you, know, uh, you know, as I say, sort of eat our own dog food or whatever the electronic equivalent of that is. Um, 
So, uh, but I, I think like next year, and my prediction is next year we'll have over a, over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. So, um, and you know, a lot of people were saying the Cybertruck is like fake, it's never gonna come out. Um, you know, and uh, now we're shipping uh, a lot of Cybertrucks. We, we hit a, a weekly uh, record of 1,300. Uh, so. And, you know, I think that with the Cybertruck, it, it really is something special. Like, um, you know, people sometimes have, like, different opinions on the Cybertruck. But if you really want to know if, there's a, if something is, is cool, if it's, if it's a great product, like, show it to a kid, okay? <laughs> like, no filter, okay? The kid's got, like, no filter, like a five-year-old, six-year-old, something like that, and, or th even three-year-old and say, which car do you like? <laughs> Cybertruck. <laughs> and we launched the upgraded three, which is actually a fantastic car. I recommend trying it out. Uh, it's, it's really a, a great car. And uh, it's only $216 after a gas savings, like total cost of ownership. It's basically 200 and something dollars uh, when compared to a gasoline car, a similar gasoline car. So. Um, it's, it's really uh, a, a, a great deal uh, and, and a fun car. Um, and the performance, Model 3 performance is, well, it's, it's like, you know, faster than Porsche 911. Uh, it's uh, just a great, great car. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, And of course, uh, Model, Model Y became the best-selling vehicle globally. And this, this is something that we predicted. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think I said in like 2022, uh, it would, Model Y would be the biggest car in the world by dollar volume sales, and that 2023 it would be the biggest in uh, unit volume, and it was. Um, and I, again, this year, it will be the best-selling car on Earth. So, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we've got some new new products that we're working on uh, under the covers, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think these these are um, I think these, these are going to be pretty special. So, uh, and, and, you know, some of them I, I think people at, maybe at first may think, oh, it's not going to be that amazing, but just wait, it will be. So. Uh, yeah, and, and Tesla's obviously way more than a car company. Um, we've, you know, we, we've, we do a lot of software at Tesla. You know, about, I don't know, roughly half the, or a, a very huge percentage of the, of the engineering we do is actually software engineering. Um, so Tesla's, I'd say, as much a software company as it is a hardware company. This is a very big deal because um, car companies are not software companies normally. Uh, so this, this matters a lot. So things like our Autobitter, Autobitter software for energy storage, all of the software that controls the cars, the mega packs, the, the power walls, uh, the solar, um, the, obviously for AI and, and full self-driving, our big deal, insurance, uh, service and collision. Um, the, Tesla also writes a lot of software internally that, uh, that helps, that like we call like the Tesla operating system internally, that is head and shoulders above what any other uh, company has. I think probably better than any Fortune 500 company. Um, it, the Tesla internal software is, is just way better. So it's, yeah, it's, it's just uh, far more than what people normally think of as a car company. Um, and Tesla's also the, world, the, the leader in real world AI. So, there's really, um, this is a big deal. Um, like Tesla is ahead of, of Google, Meta, you know, OpenAI, anyone on real world software actually look, taking in video and making decisions based on video. Um, no one can, no one is even close. Um, and it's getting better, um, I say, with each passing month, if not each passing week. Um, so, yeah.
And I think, I think most people here have tried out version 12. Um, so, uh, so <clears throat> we did say like unsu sort of un unsupervised full self-driving full self driving would be version 12. So we, we are actually just keeping the version arbitrarily at 12 and then like calling it 12.4, 12.3, 12.4, 12.5. But it's actually really like version 13, version 14. But anyway, this is an arbitrary designation. Um, so 12.4 is actually like a whole different version than 12.3, than and 12.5 is a whole different version than 12.4. Um, so you'll see really giant improvements, I think sometimes factor of 10 improvements uh, it, between uh, successive versions. With that, uh, thank you very much for your support. Um, so, <laughs> so, thanks guys. <laughs>